Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the Nexus 6P and Nexus 5X boot loop. One thing to keep in mind is that you cannot do this fix unless you already have an unlocked bootloader. One way to unlock the bootloader if your phone is already boot looping is to heat up the phone as much as you can so the phone disables the broken cores. If you already have an unlocked bootloader, you can go ahead and follow the steps in the video. The first step will be to download and set up the Google USB driver. This allows our computer to properly communicate with our Nexus device. Once you've downloaded and extracted the zip file, look for the setup information file and right click that. Then click install. After a couple of seconds, you should see something that says installation complete. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and delete all the files. The next thing we need is SDK platform tools. This allows us to use ADB and Fastboot to flash our Nexus 6P with a new custom ROM and the patch to make it work. Unzip this file as well. Once it is unzipped, you can delete the original zip file. The next two files we will be downloading is a TWRP patch and the boot loop of death workaround. Both of these help our Nexus 6P boot without using the broken cores. And finally, the last file we'll be downloading is our custom ROM. I prefer using Pixel Experience since it is closest to the modern pixels of today. The next thing we'll be doing is setting up ADB and Fastboot and checking to make sure that our phone is able to connect to our computer properly. Open command prompt and navigate to the platform tools folder. Then connect your phone to your computer and press and hold the power and volume down key at the same time until you see the Fastboot menu. Then when you type Fastboot devices in the command prompt you should see your device show up. Next, we can flash TWRP, the tool that will allow us to flash our custom ROM and the 4-core patch. In the terminal, type fastboot flash recovery and then go to your location where you have your TWRP image file, then drag that to the terminal and hit enter. Then on the phone side, use the volume buttons to navigate to reboot bootloader and hit the power button. Once it's rebooted and you've seen the fastboot screen again, navigate to recovery mode and hit the power button again. Once TWRP is booted, you should be greeted with a screen that says swipe to allow modifications. Make sure you do swipe here so we can properly flash the device. Once you're on the home screen, select wipe and then format data. Once it is complete, click the home button at the bottom. Then click the advanced button and then ADB sideload. Select wipe cache and Dalvik cache. Then swipe to sideload. On the computer side, type in ADB devices to make sure that your device is connected properly. If you do not see your phone showing up here, you may have to reinstall the driver or restart your computer. Then type in ADB sideload and drag in your custom ROM. Once you hit enter, the new custom ROM should be flashing. This can take up to 5 to 10 minutes. Once it is complete, click the home button and then repeat the process of clicking advanced and then ADB sideload. Once it is in sideload mode, type in ADB sideload on the computer and drag in the N5X-6P BLOD workaround. Once you click enter, it should start flashing. This should take around two minutes.
Once it's complete, you can click the Reboot System button. If it asks you to install the TWRP app, you can click Do Not Install. Once you click Reboot System, it should take around 2 minutes to fully boot, but it will only take this long on the first boot. Afterwards, it should be much quicker. And that's all. Now you have a completely working phone, although I have to say it is a little bit slower than before since we have disabled four of the high performance cores and only the four little cores are doing all the work. But this is better than having a boot looping phone. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you now have a working Nexus 6P or Nexus 5X. If you like this video, leave a like and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and if you have any questions, comment down below. And remember, all the links for I use in this video will be down below.